$5,000 for the RTX 5090. Are you insane? I just wanted some sauce on those zingers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. First and foremost, a couple shameless plugs. Make sure you subscribe to Review Tech USA. I will be uploading content here on a regular basis. And also make sure you subscribe because I stream on a regular basis. And I got some surprise streams coming up this week. Well, next week. It's, what, Friday? I don't even know what the hell day it is. <laughs> what the hell day is it? Ah, it's Thursday. It's uh, Thursday. So next week. I will be having some interesting streams that I will have scheduled and they will be surprises. Also, make sure you subscribe to uh, Tech 25 ASMR. I'm going to have a new video posted this week over there. And on top of it, too, my ASMR channel already has a bunch of content. So make sure you sub to Tech 25 ASMR and Review Tech USA. I'll have links to both of those in the description and top pin comment. So RAM prices are absolutely insane. And I've discussed a billion times how this will have a cascading negative effect on the entire tech industry, not just nerds building gaming PCs. And we're in for a world of hurt. For example, here, RAM prices have surged dramatically in late 2025 with some DDR5 modules increasing 120 to 200 percent. Here is some examples here. Percentage spike. Some DDR5 kits saw price hikes of 100% or more in just a couple months, with some DDR5 modules going up 120 to 200% from early 2025. It, this is insane. 32 gigabyte DDR5 kits jumped by hundreds of dollars, with some experiencing increases of 400 to 500 in short periods. So here is some examples of how absolutely insane the RAM price increases have been. A 64 uh, gigabyte popular kit in October was about 250 Canadian dollars, which is about 180 bucks. Uh, and then it went over to, this is in December, it jumped to 500 Canadian dollars, which is about 364 US dollars. So literally double the price from October to December. So the kit you bought in October is now double the price. It's like GPU prices for that 64 gigabyte kit. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely diabolical. And then you add on top of it too, I cannot stress this enough and stop bringing it up that Micron, who created Crucial Memory, that was the consumer memory brand, they're just completely out of the game now. They're just fo solely focusing on making memory and products for AI data centers. They're gone. They're not making Crucial Memory anymore, which literally this past October, they were saying, we're going to focus on the consumers. We're going to focus on the gamers. And then literally five seconds later, basically, they were like, yeah, no, we were just kidding. We just said that to make people shut up. We're just totally going in on AI. Screw the consumers. It's unbelievable, man. It's so gross. Well, if you think that the AI memory crunch is just going to affect RAM in your computer and not affect other products like the GPU, <laughs> I got some really bad news for you. The RTX 5090 from NVIDIA is going to go up to 2.5 times the price, according to insiders, to 5,000 US dollars. This comes from Insider Gaming. The ongoing impact of artificial intelligence's growth could be felt even more acutely by PC gamers in 2026, according to a new rumor. It has been claimed that next year, NVIDIA will increase the prices of the RTX 5090 GPU to as much as $5,000 for a single unit. It has been suggested that the price increases will start rolling out from January onwards. Hello, welcome to 2026. Keep in mind the MSRP of the 5090 when it was first released was $2,000. That's over double the price. I just I, I just want that to sink in. Now, Nvidia isn't alone. AMD is going to increase the prices supposedly from these insider sources of their GPUs, but not as much. But Wait, buckle up. Here's more for you here. Uh, GPU prices are about to get ridiculous. It's easy to see the cost of top tier GPU soaring through 2026 when you look at how much RAM costs have skyrocketed through 2025. The construction of AI fed data centers and the technology backbone to support the growing vertical have absolutely shattered the hardware market in the last few months, but we're not out of the woods yet. 
In a recent claim from Newsys, a South Korean outlet, it was stressed that we're just seeing the beginning of monumental and borderline ridiculous price hikes in the GPU space. So AMD GPUs are going to go up in price as well. And if you were eyeing a 5090, well, I guess now is the time to get it. And here is a banger for you to also show you why prices are going to increase for GPUs. The average proportion of memory in the overall GPU manufacturing cost has recently exceeded 80%. And like I talked about in a previous video, uh, the PS6 and whatever the hell the next Xbox is going to be is probably going to be delayed too due to the rising costs of memory. So good time to be into technology. Am I right? So I hope I'm wrong about this and I, I'm sure I've been wrong about many of my predictions before, but I, I just feel very uncomfortable with the, about this one and I feel in my gut that I'm right. I think this is the industry trying to push us towards games and productivity and, and tech as a service than actually having native computing power, whether it be in your hands or whether it be in your PC. I don't really know any other way to, to put it. I, I think they want us to get away from hardware. Uh, so we're beholden to all these companies and paying subscriptions to all of these companies forever. Oh, you want to edit videos and you need a bunch of GPU power and CPU power to do it. And it costs as much as you would need to take out a home equity loan to get the PC. <laughs> hey, you know, we have a more affordable solution for the low monthly fee of whatever. You can have all that. Downside is, is if you want to keep it going, you got to pay for it forever. And I think that's where they're going because let's keep it real. AI is in a bubble right now. And I don't think that these memory manufacturers would be jumping all in on AI when it, we know that it's a bubble and the bubble could burst any time now. They want to set up these AI data centers so companies like NVIDIA and everyone could just charge us forever to use their computing power. If you want to edit videos, you have to pay up. You want to play games, you have to pay up. And you have to pay forever to keep having access to them. That's what I think their long-term goal is. Yeah, they're going in with AI and AI is blowing up right now because of the bubble, but they know that bubble won't last forever. And they're looking at the long-term of how we could be more profitable and how they could be more profitable is by making us pay them with a subscription for, well, the rest of our lives. You will own nothing and be happy, except you won't be. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.